Detroit is back on track. After revving up its biggest monthly sales increase since 2001. Do you think the industry has turned the corner now? I think it has. At the New York Auto Show, CEO Alan Mulally was celebrating a 43% spike in Ford sales, led by its mid-sized sedan, the Ford Fusion. How many of these are you selling? A lot. It, it, we're going up every month. Fusion sales skyrocketed in March, up nearly 80% from a year ago. The Ford Focus and Mustang were also up more than 50%. Look at the elegance of it. Malale says Ford is benefiting from being the only U.S. automaker to avoid bankruptcy. So you think it's been a good selling point? I think that people like not only great products, but they like people that are running a strong business. But GM also rode a surge last month. Sales from its four core brands, Buick, GMC, Chevrolet, and Cadillac, were up 43%. Even recall-plagued Toyota saw a strong rebound in sales after it offered 0% financing. They need to get the customers back into the showrooms to kick the tires again, and nothing like putting some cash on the hood to do that. Detroit is coming off its worst year in a quarter century. Fewer than 10 and a half million vehicles were sold in this country last year. But analysts are now forecasting sales could bounce back to more than 12 million this year, if the promising trends continue. That would be a healthy number for the industry, but well below the 16 million sold in 2007. But analysts see a key economic indicator here, in the junkyard. For the first time on record, the number of vehicles Americans are buying has fallen well below the number sent to the scrap heap. It's pretty rare. We've been tracking these numbers since 1948, and it's the first decline we've ever seen. That means fewer cars on the road. To automakers, that's a sign pent-up demand is building. And that's why they're forecasting a slow but steady increase in sales. Ford is feeling confident enough to pay off $3 billion in debt next week. Even beleaguered Chrysler now says it actually expects to break even by year's end. Katie?